Welcome to another video lesson, guys. We're going to be talking about three stocks today. RVPH, we're going to be talking about uh, VYGR and MVIS, I believe it is. And uh, what you're going to notice here is uh, five-minute charts looking for bigger uh, bigger setups. And uh, I, I generally like the two-minute chart. I generally trade uh, the two-minute chart. Sometimes there's value uh, in these larger charts to really sort of gauge uh, strength and whatnot. So what I want to do is I want to show you uh, setup number one and very simple flag pattern. You're going to see that the um, everything you need to see on this setup is here, right? So you get that gap, you get price action running up, you get a nice little pullback. Uh, it builds a pretty solid base right through here, uh, which is quite nice. And uh, from this base, it starts to lift up a little bit here. And there's this little area right through here where it moves up, creates trend line resistance, pulls back, and then breaks right through here. So you're getting a break on lighter volume. You're getting a break confirmed on heavier volume right thereafter. Uh, but most importantly, right at this apex, when it's breaking, uh, you will see that price action is above the nine-day EMA. It's above the VWAP. And the nine day is doing a VWAP cross, which is very, very positive. You're also getting a buy signal on the MACD right at the same time. If you look down at this lower pane, what you're seeing is the healthcare sector, uh, the biotech industry, and the S&P 500, and everything predominantly at that exact moment in time, uh, excluding the S&P, is moving bullishly. So the sector and the industry are all moving bullishly along with the stock so that's everything that you need to see right through there if we slap up our uh, Fibonacci projection tool just like so and try and carve out where this thing is going to run to you can see that this is a successful run straight up into the 618 you get a bunch of failed tests right through here uh, before it sells off so pretty straightforward stuff uh, the whole body of the setup though is right through here and again, it is the gap up, it's the rally, it's the pullback, it's the floor that's being built, it's the trend line resistance that is set, it is the price action uh, moving above the nine day expenditure moving average of the VWAP, and then the buy signal on the MAC. I believe there is also Alzheimer's news that is related to this stock, and that is the catalyst that made this thing run. If you look at the similarities uh, between RV, PH, and VYGR, uh, you're going to see the same sort of thing. You're going to see a nice gap up. You're going to see the price pulls back, sets a little high right through here. You get this uh, VWAP nine day crossover system, which is quite nice. I actually looked at my last 10 movers on Friday, eight of which produced that same signal and rallied from there. And uh, you'll see that the same thing happens. You get this nice uh, formation right through here. So trend lines are uh, horizontal support. And then you get a hook off of the. Um, off of the signal line right through here and then again sector and industry both long price action pops if we use our fibonacci projection tool right through here you'll see that it does hit target but a little bit of a lower one actually pardon me that rally successfully into the 618 uh no big deal so that was an easy trade as well hate to use the word easy but you know what i mean setup is there gap consolidation squeezes you're really getting a symmetrical triangle but you squeeze and when you're squeezing price action is above the nine above the vwap hook off of the signal line volume follows and this thing runs if we look at the movers list and goes we go to mvis again news catalyst here uh this thing was beautiful this thing popped up it created some trend line resistance right through or sorry horizontal resistance right through here and you could look at this really two ways uh, i mean i was in on the first pullback on this thing Bought some options at 580. Ended up letting them go into the close. Uh, I want to say at about 8, 8, 10. Uh, so it was a pretty decent play. Uh, ultimately, at the end of the day, there was a longer um, longer setup to this. Again, I got into this uh, pretty darn early. But you'll see that if you would miss the first entry, uh, there was a pretty solid entry right through here. And again, it's the exact same setup uh, that we're seeing across the board. Price action gaps up. It finds some support. So these are areas where, um, you know, market movers are moving, uh, our market makers are moving price action down to so that they can scoop up and buy. Stops are being held. Price action pulls back. VWAP holds. And when it cracks, you know, it's holding that nine day. It's holding that VWAP. And then again, you're getting that buy signal right down through here 
on the MACD telling you that everything is bottoms up ready to go. If we look at the tech sector, it's bullish. If we look at this specific uh, industry, it is also bullish. And the S&P, uh, as this thing was breaking, was also bullish. So those are three primary examples of great stocks all doing the same thing. And on MVIS, this was off my top movers list. I believe there was also a catalyst on this stock. So again, I hope that some of this has helped. If you have any questions, by all means, please feel free to reach out. And that's your market recap slash video lesson.